GCSE Higher Practice Exam Paper 1A from MathsTutor.biz and MathsDVDs.co.uk. In this video clip, I'm going to be working out question number 19. Remember, if you want to get a grade A or grade B, you want a high score. So don't slip up on the easy questions. And hopefully get a few of the harder ones right as well. Let's look at question 19. GCSE Higher Practice Paper 1A, question 19. Solve this equation. A lot of maths can be done more than one way. This definitely can be done more than one way. I would approach it by looking at this fraction and getting rid of a fraction. Getting rid of fractions is often a good starting point. So I'm going to get rid of that fraction and I'm going to multiply this fraction by x minus 2. Because if I multiply that by x minus 2, the x minus 2 will cancel and I'll be left with just this. So multiplying that fraction by x minus 2 will give me that. But then I must multiply that by x minus 2. And multiply that by x minus 2 and that by x minus 2. Which we can show by doing it like that. So that's one approach. Get rid of the fraction. Now we'll get rid of those brackets by expanding them. 6 times x, 6 times minus 2. Multiplying both these terms by both those terms, x times the x, and x times the minus 2, 4 times the x, and 4 times the minus 2. Now you could do this very quickly or very carefully. I think I'll do it very carefully. On this side, this is the only x squared term got 5x and 6x, got minus 1 and minus 12. On this side, this is the only x squared term, then I've got plus 2x from there, and the minus 8. Now I'll consider making it what we call a zero equation by subtracting each of these terms. Well, sorry, subtracting that one, subtracting that one, and adding that one to both sides. So if I subtract that one from both sides, I will get that. Subtract that from both sides, so 2x away from the 11. Adding the 8 to both sides, that add-on 8 is minus 5. Now, if the examiner is being nice, this should factorise. If not, I'd have to use the formula, but I'd expect that to only happen on the calculator paper. So I do expect this to factorise. Thankfully, that's a prime number, and that's a prime number. So the choices are limited. That will give me 2x squared, and 1 times 5, or 5 times 1, will give me the 5. If I put the 5 there, and the 1 there, I can think ahead will be 10x, and it'll be 1x. So if I put a minus there and a plus there, I think that will work. Multiply this out as a check. See that it works. Now, you're going to write the answer down straight away, or you're going to put this line in, that either that equals naught, or that equals naught. You can feel really safe if you go straight from there to the answer. But I've seen a lot of mistakes going from there straight to the answer. Whereas if you write down that equals naught and then solve this dear little equation by adding 1 to both sides and then dividing both sides by 2, you are less likely to go wrong. Well, all that hard work is only worth 4 marks. So there'd be 1 mark for each answer. And then 1 marks and another mark for the method which I think is terribly mean, but that's it.